Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, we're going to be doing another Foraging Friday. So here you can see one of my newer dog foraging toys. Uh, it says dog activity on it. It's one of those Trixie toys, and well, clearly I'm using it for rats. And anyways, I wanted to go ahead and review it, like always. So you have two main components to this toy that are very unique, and the main reasons that I got it. So the first one you can see Bean using, which is this little tumbler thing. And this is really awesome because first of all, it clears up a lot of issues I've had with the only other forging toy I've seen to use this concept. So some of you might remember my blue bird. Um, it was blue and yellow and it's this little thing that attaches to the cage uh, bars and the rats have to you know, turn it around and treats will come out of a hole. Now that one had a lot of issues. Uh, I really like it, first of all, to start, just the design of it, but I don't like how it's executed because it had this problem where the hole that the treats were coming out of was just too small, and I'm going to be showing you a clip right now because otherwise it will be kind of confusing, but you'll see what I'm talking about. The hole where the treats come out is just really small, and so because of that you can't really put any treats in there. It's very difficult. And the other issue with it is just that it never came apart. Like you couldn't take it apart, so you couldn't clean it really. Uh, well, you couldn't clean it easily. You couldn't empty or refill it easily. So it just had its own share of issues. I mean, I still think it's a cool toy and I like that it mounts to the bars, but it had some issues. So moving on to this toy here, the cool thing about that is that this little tumbler thing pretty much solves all of those issues. So first of all, you can see it's very easy for the rats to use. Uh, Bean just showed us how it's done. It even has some little grooves here that are super easy to use. It has these three big holes at the top and I'm putting treats in them, but you don't actually have to put treats in that way, which was a big issue I had with the other one. Now, the nice thing about this tumbler here is it has some features that the other one lacked, like I said. So the best thing is, first of all, it comes apart. Look at that, that's freaking awesome. Makes it easy to clean, makes it easy to fill, makes it easy to just do everything you need to do to the inside of the tumbler, which is an obvious thing that each one should have, at least to me, but unfortunately the other one doesn't have it. So the other nice thing is that the holes are big enough for treats to come out of. So you don't just have to put small treats in there because a full size Cheerio or even a lab block can get out of these little holes and that's really nice. The other nice thing is how it closes. You can see these two right here, they have some little clip pieces and you just close it like that. So after that, you're all set and you just go ahead and you mount it on here. Very easy and that's it. And then the rats can use it as Bean will hopefully show us in a second. But yeah, just an awesome little toy. And I'm just glad because I feel like this sort of toy is very useful and really fun for the rats, but no one really executes it well. Oh my gosh, guys, stop fighting in my shirt. Okay, sorry, sorry. That was a little bit of an interlude, s'more, mocha. But as you can see, Bean is really enjoying it. Uh, the other rats, I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to attack my shirt, so a little bit of a strange thing going on. But these little things over here on the other side are seesaws. So what you're supposed to do if you're a dog is push it and the treat will come out. But of course the rats can actually stick their heads in there if they really want to. So some of them will do that. Oh my god, stop chewing on my shirt. Oh geez. But yeah, this toy is just really nice. It's such an improvement over the bird toy that I showed you before, the blue one. Uh, well, this is blue too. And it's just such a nice design. I, I don't know what else to say about it because I really like it. Uh, honestly, Trixie has some of the coolest looking toys. And while I haven't tried them all, I do hope to, you know, review some of the cooler ones. Um, I currently have two or three, uh, I think three of their products. So this is one of them. Then I have this other one where you have to pull strings to get treats out. And then I have this little box one. So I'm going to show those later on. But for now, I think this one's pretty cool. And I really do enjoy using this one with the rats. And as you can see, Bean enjoys it as well, as do the other rats. But I think Bean has it down a little bit better, uh, even though she is trying to get in there currently. So yeah, that is pretty much all I have to say here. Like I said, cool products. And the rats really seem to enjoy these. The little seesaws, as you can see, are... <laughs> both usable in the intended method and usable by just sticking their heads in there because they're small. 
Uh, also, does this totally seem like it's designed almost specifically for rats, or is that just me? Because I cannot imagine a larger dog using this. Okay, I can't imagine it. I saw the video of them using it before I bought this. But it just seems so much more suited to rats. I just feel like everything here is the perfect size for them. It's kind of cool seeing just how many of the foraging toys out there are really nice for rats, even if the people who make actual rat foraging toys or rat-based foraging toys still refuse to see that rats are smart little things. But uh, well, at least other toys work for them. So, you know, that's nice. Okay, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I think that this toy here is really cool, and I'm glad that the rats enjoy it as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!